Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Marvel Trades DIY. Today I'll be doing some three amazing Easter DIYs. So beginning with the Easter sign and here are all the stuff that I got. These are all from Dollar Tree including this board. I actually had this board for a while which was from Christmas at Dollar Tree and I decided to use it for today's DIY. Now, something about today's DIY is that I'm going to be using these wallpapers, which are from Target for $3. And the cool thing about this is that they had nice three prints that are all in the greenish kind of color with different patterns. And I decided to use the green one. And another cool thing about this is that they're actually, the wallpapers actually these stickable wallpapers. So before I begin, I'm going to be sanding my board just, just to get off all the glitter and everything to make it more smooth. And then I'm going to apply on this wallpaper. So to begin with, I'm just going to be doing all of my measurements and I'm just going to see how wide I need to make this wallpaper so then I can just easily apply it on. And just to begin with, I am just going to be marking off the spots. And then what I'll be doing is that I'm going to be just roughly creating a measurement where I'm just going to bend it off onto the side of the board. And then later on, I'm just going to be taking my ruler and just cutting it off. Once that's done, I'm just going to be using my X-Acto knife to just cut off the extra pieces of wallpaper which does not go with my board. And now I'm just going to apply it on and to do this part, you gotta be really careful so that you don't get any air bubbles or any lumps. And all you gotta do is just carefully apply it on. Either use like a ruler or a popsicle stick, anything that's easy and you have in hand. I just used my ruler and just kind of use that while pushing it down to get out all of any air bubbles. And then I will be smoothing off the wallpaper onto my board. And then if there's any other extra, you know, wallpaper pieces, then I'm just going to trim it all off. And now on to the second part of applying the wallpaper onto the board. It's just the exact same thing as the top part as we did, is that I'm just going to be taking my wallpaper and I'm just going to be, um, you know, lining it up next to the board right at the spot where there is no wallpaper and then I'm just going to be taking my ruler and my writing utensil and just measuring off all the sides where I'll be needing to cut it off and the cool thing about this wallpaper is that it has some boxes and measuring boxes which makes it very easier for me to just apply it on So once I have got on my wallpaper from top to bottom, all I'm doing is just smoothing it out to see if there's any air bubbles just in case. And then once that's done, I will be uh, putting on and trying to see how my galvanized words would look like. And these words, I actually found them 
from Dollar Tree and even in my haul video I showed them they came in three such as Happy Easter Blessing but for now I'm just using Happy Easter and I will just be applying them on just like as you see over here. And now I'm going to be using my chalk paint just to bristle along the sides of the board and basically what I'm doing is that I'm giving it more of that rustic farmhouse look and also as a way for me to cover up if there was any imperfections. So now it's time to put on the wire rack and this wire rack is from Dollar Tree and what I'll be doing is just hot gluing it down. I didn't want to paint this or do anything you know special with it because I liked it just as it was and it really went with my board. You can you know paint it brown or put some burlap inside of it, anything that suits your needs. And now I'll be popping in these little cute carrots inside of the wire rack and if you see the brownish crinkled up springy paper I actually had that from you know a gift that I got from a giveaway and I was just going to apply it on to the bottom part and you can also find these from Dollar Tree too and now it is time to spaz this up with some florals and kind of cutify it a bit and before I decide to put the florals onto the bottom but then later I changed my mind and put the florals on the top where the bow was which you will see in a moment and now I will be applying on this lace which is from Dollar Tree and I also decided to make a bow of it too and as I said right next to the bow I would also apply on the flowers And look at this, it looks so cute. I am literally in love. It's so farmhouse and really gives us those Easter and spring vibes. I just really love looking at this. And now on to the bunny hop sign. So before I begin, I'm going to be using this frame which is from Dollar Tree and this printable and to begin with I am just going to be cutting out the printable with my X-Acto knife all around on top of this cardboard. And now since that is all cut out, I'm just going to be pre-preparing for the frame part of the sign. And basically what I'm doing is that I'm just taking this design that says, you know, Ships Ahoy or has the anchor front. And all I'm going to be doing is just flipping it back onto the other side and then putting it on the top of the frame. You'll see what I'm talking about. Then I'll be taking this, you know, present unwrapping type of paper that I use to wrap presents with. And I'm just going to be taking that because I really like the print of it and it just really matches those spring feelings. And all I'm going to be doing is that gluing that on top of the cardboard. And once I have done that, I am now just going to be applying it on to top of the frame. And this is what I meant by flipping the design on the back side where you can see the white paper. And all I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to take this burlap ribbon that I already had, which I had made it into a bow, and then I'll just be hot gluing it onto the neck part of the bunny. And once I have done that, all I'm going to be doing is just hot gluing that onto the top glass part of the frame. And now, if any of you guys are new to my channel, I'm Tia and I like to make hauls and DIY videos. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can get more of that content. 
And now let's hop back in. And now I'll be putting on this cute button onto the bow just to cover up that line in the middle. And before I apply any letters, I am going to be taking this yarn that I had, which was a nice neutral type of color that went with the palette of the sign. And I'm just going to be hot gluing along the sides of the rabbit. And if you can notice here, there are a little bit of some glue residue. Well, I have bought in this really good purchase from Dollar Tree and I'm really happy that I have it. It's called Goo Gone and you can just take it and apply a little bit on whatever cleaning cloth you have and you can just rub it along all those residue sides and it just gets it off just like magic. And now let's finally move on to the sign part of the sign. So I'm just going to put on these three letters which spell hop onto the bottom side. But before I do anything, I thought that there was something missing so I had to cutify it a bit. I'm going to be using this chalk paint that I have and I'm my sponge which I've got from Dollar Tree. And what I'll be doing is just dapping it along the sides. And now I'm going to be using this light pinkish skin tone type of color and i'll also be dapping that along the sides of the letters and basically what i'm doing is that i'm kind of just trying to blend in the two colors of the chalk paint and the pink color trying to get that more of like this colorful multi-color based kind of letters and they just look adorable check this out And now it is time to glue on these wooden letters. But the wooden letters is not just all what I'm doing here. I'm also going to be adding some greenery, such as these green leaves that I just had lying around in my house. And I decided to put them between the O and P of hop. But I won't just put them in just like that. I decided to put them on with this lace. It's not the Dollar Tree one. It's actually this lace that I thrifted from the thrift store. And it is so beautiful, I'm literally in love with it. And it just gave the right touch for the leaves. And look at this, this looks so adorable and so glamorous, especially for spring. I just love the colors and how it just looks so shabby chic. I am literally in love with this sign. And now on to the Easter egg bouquet. I had so much fun working around with this DIY. And in order to do it, I actually already had these Easter eggs that I found from Target. And then I'm going to be using this red tumbler, which is from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to be taking these skewers, which are actually from Walmart. You can also find them from Dollar Tree, but I could not find them at my local Dollar Tree. So to begin with, I'm just going to be taking my white chalk paint and just doing multiple coats over the tumbler in order so I can cover up all the red dots onto the tumbler. And once I have done that, I'm just going to set it off to dry. And now it's time to work around with these Easter eggs. So since these Easter eggs, they have a little hole onto the bottom of them, I'm just going to be taking these skewers and just popping them into from the bottom and onto the Easter eggs. And the reason why I did not use any wooden dowels was because the skewers were just the right size to just fit through the Easter eggs. And here is where I've done all of them. I just really love the colors and it just looks perfect. So to begin with, I am just going to be taking this floral foam board, which is from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to pop it inside of the tumbler. Once I have done that, it's time for me to add on these artificial flowers, which are from Dollar Tree. I mean, check these out. Dollar Tree have gotten these cute artificial flowers for spring. It just looks so adorable. And then what I'm going to be doing is just popping them onto the bouquet and just to cover up the um, foam board on the bottom, I'm just going to be using this moss which I found from Dollar Tree 
and it's just the right way to just cover up any of the imperfections if you're doing any you know bouquet activity that's even what i did when i made my flower topiary and now on to cutifying this a bit more i'm just going to be using this ribbon which is from dollar tree and i'm just going to be tying it around the tumbler and then i already had this yellow yarn lying around my house and i decided to make a cute little bow on it and then i'll just be hot gluing it onto the tumbler just like that and ta-da this looks adorable i am literally in love with it like i just love the colors and you know the florals and the bouquet it just looks so cute and it's just so adorable just to look at so that is a wrap up my friends i hope you enjoyed watching these diy just like as i did making it i literally enjoyed so much making all of these stuff so let's hope you give a like comment subscribe all of that jazz and i'll see you in my next video